We are cruising in style in the town of Warren in Huntington County. About 1,200 people call this place home. It's a small town that gets a big boost during the Salimony Summer Festival. Don, I gotta know first question right out of the gate. I Googled it. I saw what a Salimony is. What can you tell me a Salimony <laughs> is? Uh, the Salamone is um, it's a name derived from the Indians, okay. um, from the Salmoni Lake. Uh, they found a yellow flower on the banks of the Salmoni Lake, mm -hmm. and they actually used it for yellow paint. Oh, um, okay. It's what they did, the dye from the flower, uh -huh. and so they called it the O Salmoni. And so then that is where they got the name of Salamone, was O Salamone. Now we know. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now your focus is on the parade itself. Right, yeah, right. Tell me about that. I, well, I am the parade chairman. Um, this is my third year doing it. Um, the first year we didn't get to have it because of COVID. Right. So um, we did it last year, we did this year. Last year we had, it was almost 90 entries in the parade. Um, you gotta remember this is a small town. <laughs> so we don't have that many big floats or anything. We have like tractors, yeah. antique cars. Um, we have a lot of baseball teams in back of pickup trucks that are in it. Mm -hmm. So, um, but the people enjoy it. I mean, it's, it's our town. We have tons and tons of um, injuries and it's great. So how do you pay tribute to Salamone? There is, um, the first float that will be coming through is the USS float. Um, these are older gentlemen that were on this ship, on this USS Salamone ship. Um, so we honor all of them by um, putting them at the front of the parade. Mm -hmm. um, they come from all over Florida, I mean, you know, Ohio, Michigan, whatever. Can I jump on board oh, later? Sure. Well, of course. <laughs> just later, okay. Yeah, of course, definitely. Yeah, okay. yeah, these are just some of our tractors. A lot of people are like, oh my gosh, it's a lot of tractors in your parade. But you know what? That's people from around here, and that's their life. What kind of personal enjoyment do you get out of doing this? Oh, wow, well, it's a lot of work because I'm already thinking about next year. And, and it's a full, it's almost a full-time thing. So I just hope everybody comes in the neighborhood. We ca they come to the festival. It's just a big deal and, and one of the biggest around. So just hope everybody comes and enjoys themselves. So your population in this town is about 1,200. Once the festival comes to town, how much does that population grow? Oh, wow, I would say probably up to 3,000. Yeah, for the parade and things. Yeah, and then like we start the parade out here at Heritage Point but a lot of those people will be out in their chairs and everything because they get to see the parade first before it starts. So that's neat. On parade day, July 1st, you'll see a lot of these around town, t-shirts that read Salimony Summer Festival Homemade Happiness. As a judge, I'll be wearing one of these along with ABC 21's Rachel Berry. For more details, go to WPTA21.com or WBOI.org. With ABC 21's In the Spotlight, I'm WBOI's Tara Brantley. All right, Nelson, let's get out of here. See you later.